I feel like it starts with the title. Like, what is the Adam Project? That is the most boring title I've ever heard in my life. Like, Jesus, uh, why don't they just call it the movie? Like, <laughs> hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to a new episode of Mostly Wrong Opinions. I am Tyrone. That is Devin. We have a film here for you today. As every other day we do this channel, this time it's the Adam Project. Now on Netflix. Get ready to run. This film has heart, but it ain't smart. Um, okay. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's about a guy that comes back from the year 2050 into the year. He, he, he time jumps, okay, into the year um, 2022. And he didn't even mean to come to the year to 2022. And uh, he runs into his younger self. He did not want to do this. We figure out why he didn't want to do this later in the film and what's the real reason he even ju time jumped in the first place. But all of that right there is the not smart part. <laughs> all right, the movie kind of hand waves a lot of things. It's like, okay, so he's jumping from 2050, to, but he accidentally ends up in 2022. How did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> the movie's <laughs> wildly disinterested in explaining this accident. This accident is, of course, like the backbone of the whole story. It doesn't care. And it's hoping you don't either. And for a minute, I did not care. I was like, oh, okay, because it's kind of, the movie kind of has this, or I, I saw some reviewer um, describe it as like a rat-a-tat-tat type of rhythm, right? This movie is fast. It moves really quick. It was like Ryan Reynolds wrote this movie. Because everyone has that same kind of snappy Ryan Reynolds like delivery. Oh, hey, Adam. Hello, Derek. You have a wonderful mouth mullet, and you must be very proud. Oh my gosh, Adam. <laughs> I've never actually heard her call that before. <laughs> well, thanks again. Sure. Uh, see you soon. Unlikely, but I'll be sure to put in a good word for you, Derek. Okay. Okay. If if it feels like Deadpool, but like every character's Deadpool, and <laughs> there's a point in the film where I was like, is the movie aware of how rude? And crash, they're making this little kid. And oh yeah, dude. For for a minute, I was like, I think this movie is completely unaware. I think I think that this is supposed to be cute or funny. But then Jennifer Gardner, which plays the little boy's mother, she meant she like comments on it that he that the little boy can come off as cruel ass, or, or mean. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, oh okay. So I guess this is like a thing. Like they they're trying to they're trying to show some sort of character development for this little boy. I don't know. The character develop is supposed to be Ryan Reynolds himself. What? <laughs> right, because when Ryan Reynolds comes down, uh, the little boy's like, wow, you're a fighter pilot? That's so cool. And then Ryan Reynolds takes off his shirt, and he's like, you're ripped. Wow. So I'm going to get ripped? Am I going to get laid in the future? That's great, you know? But then, of course, Ryan Reynolds explains how, like, no, his life is mostly tragic and this, that, and the other. And, you know, he's like, you don't want to be me. And you could tell there's like some animosity where Ryan, because the, the little boy, he gets picked on a lot. And Ryan Reynolds is very much not the type of person you would like pick on. So he's like, the only way you get like this is like, you know, going to the school of hard knocks. You know, I went, my, mm -hmm. my life, my life was not that great. And so yeah. you could see the, the that the little, little boy was helping Ryan Reynolds in a way, kind of get more in touch with. A softer side of himself, and then of course they travel back in time uh, again to see the both both Adamses, the Adamses father, <laughs> and and they have a little reconcili reconciliation there. Not not unlike Finch, this is another movie about fatherhood, right? Where older Adam kind of becomes like a surrogate father for younger Adam, the father he didn't have because his father died when he was younger, and blah 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 blah. The movie's not that deep, y'all. All of the heart is just very shallow. It's very surface stuff. It, it feels like a bunch of better movies that just got glued together to make mm -hmm. this, to make this like hybrid movie. And so you, yeah. you can feel, you can feel a little bit of ET in there. Uh, you can feel a little bit of Back to the Future in there. You can feel even some, maybe some uh, Avengers Endgame in there. Unless it works more like a multiverse where each oh, rebel creates an alternate time. A multiverse. My God, we watched too many movies. And mm -hmm. you can feel some Star Wars in there, uh, but it, it doesn't really glue together that well. It just looks, it looks like one of Sid's toys from Toy Story, where he's like, he's like destroyed these nice toys and, and made this freak oh, thing. So it, yeah. it feels like more like that, you know, the, the, the combination together is, isn't that great? Like the reason why I kind of feel like I say 
it has heart and not you know smart so of course the heart comes in where you they, they, they do the, the water works and explain with the father things and stuff with this film which is why it has the heart right the reason why it's not smart is because i'm pointing back also to when you're talking about the writing um the, the writing didn't catch me and also when it comes to the director the director of this film is sean levy and he directed free guy we reviewed free guy mm-hmm. i liked free guy i did too because free guy it was smart and it's just really really fun this didn't have any of that because of all the pickings that you were trying to say you know of, of different stories and and i feel like this movie fell into like the kid movie trap where people well, say it's for kids don't think too hard about it it's for kids but i'm like what, what? kids like good stories too they're right? smart <laughs> yeah, they can think they can see this right yes. so i think they're like it's for kids it's okay so there's, there's a lot of stuff in the movie that gets hand waved like i said how does he get lost hand waved how come the entire space-time fabric doesn't just collapse on itself with these two atoms going on adventures that gets hand waved exactly. right so and, and then the, and then there are characters that kill people outside of their timeline this gets hand waved <laughs> Dying outside your fixed time is messy. All right, so uh, there's, a, there's a lot of questions that I feel like these better movies that they picked out, they they pulled, they pulled from, uh, tackled, and sometimes it made them like cornerstone of the entire film. They just ignored it because they wanted to show Ryan Reynolds with a lightsaber. You know what I mean? So they they it's a lightsaber, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they like, they, they, like, they like bobbed and weaved all, you know, between all the hard stuff. So they can get to what they probably thought was the cool stuff. And uh, I didn't think it was that cool. There is another actor in this film that we haven't even talked about. That Zoe. Zoe, Zoe Saldana is yeah. here and she's she come, she's here and then she leaves. Boom, boom. It's more like a cameo. Boom, boom. And she get, apparently she gets killed twice. I guess she gets killed once on camera. And, and once, once off camera, off camera. <laughs> I'm like, damn, you know, like, yeah. that's respect. When it comes to the, the antagonist in this story, that person meets their their past self, and it looks like Plato. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to do like some de aging type things, and the de aging did not work very well in this film at all. She, she looked older, <laughs> and, and, and at best, she just was like. Like completely unemotive. Like her face was just like, yes. She's like everybody shooting like, (laughs) and she's like, (laughs) (laughs) it looks ridiculous. So yeah, and yeah, it looked it, it looked pretty bizarre, and she looked older. Like yeah, some of that stuff is bad, especially considering you know you can do a deep fake like this now for nothing. So like the fact that they couldn't deep fake that actress who's been in a million movies, I don't know why they couldn't do that. It just it looked really bad. Yeah, and the other CGI, the rest of the CGI didn't bother me. Like yeah. you know the ships and the, they had this little dissolving effect when someone died outside of their time range. That looked fine. Where would they go? I don't know. <laughs> and then the movie doesn't that's, seem to give a shit. That's one of the problems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the movie doesn't know. Yeah. R- R- Ryan Reynolds is just like, it's messy. And then he just goes on. And it's like, yeah, messy like this movie. I'm going to go ahead and give our rating for the Adam Project here. Mm-hmm. Um, the the heart is in this is in this film. The, um, the pacing is super duper freaking quick from from this to this to this to this to this to this it mm-hmm. has no time to breathe within scenes besides the 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 heart warming scenes i would have rather seen a film where it was a dramatized scene about the build like the build of a, a father and son relationship instead of with a little bit of comedy instead of something they're trying to put in this whole future you know and past uh concept in there it made it it made it really weird for me and which is why i have to give this film a five man okay wow uh i also give this film a six i did not like this movie i didn't think it was that great uh there there a lot, the movie really hinged on these moments that the that the film itself didn't seem to care about it didn't like, care. like ryan reynolds gets he, he ends up in the wrong time but like how why and then it's like oh but he needs he can't he can't access his ship anymore because he's injured 
That doesn't make any sense because his ship is triggered by his DNA. What is his DNA not existing more? Not working anymore. Doesn't yeah. make any sense. So I'm like, explain this. It's like, oh, I'm injured, so the ship don't won't work. And and the the writing of that <laughs> of that particular sense. part, they just he just rushed through that in, in a dialogue form. It's like, so I need you. Yeah. I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, this is this is like this is where you come in. <laughs> this is the cornerstone of your film. This is the whole point of film. Like, and I feel like we could have fleshed this out some more. Like, I can see some potential here that this movie would have, and I can yeah. even see someone enjoying the film. As I always said, if you if you think about it for more than three microseconds, it, the movie just crumbles, dissolves. I have a hard time recommending it. Maybe, maybe if you just want something on the background to keep your your little kids busy, maybe you know because R- R- Ryan Reynolds busy. Ryan Reynolds is genuinely charming and he yes. is genuinely funny, yes. and the little boy who plays uh, young Ryan Reynolds. He he does a really good job of keeping up with Ryan Reynolds when they when they let him. There's a lot of really funny. I I thought they were funny. A lot of funny scenes where the little boy is just standing there with nothing to do while Ryan Reynolds mm-hmm. talks to other people because it's like, why is this little boy here? I guess he's mm-hmm. you know it doesn't make any sense why he's here. But so there's a lot there's a lot of scenes where the little boy is just like <laughs> watching Mark Mark Ruffalo and Ryan Reynolds go back and forth. If this were maybe twenty. If this were 2012 or something, and I'd be like, yeah, go for it. But there's too much to watch, man. There's too much. There's too much to watch on Netflix. Yeah. And there's too much to watch <laughs> that's very similar to this movie. So go watch any, like literally anything. Go watch go watch Avengers Endgame. That's, that's a million times better. Very similar. Go watch E.T. It's, it's very similar. Go literally anything. Go watch all three Back to the Futures. Even the Western Yeah. One. Go watch <laughs> Back to the Future. It is not atrocious. It's just very... It's very plain. It's it's very blah, and it doesn't make any sense, and it doesn't stand up to any kind of yeah. thought at all. So. I, I agree with you, and I, and the final thing I say about it, it wasn't built correctly in my mind. <laughs> so no, it wasn't. <laughs> I feel like it starts with the title. Like, what is the Adam Project? That, I mean, in the in the film, that you understand where this title comes from, but that is the most boring title I've ever heard in my life. Like Jesus, uh, why don't they just call it the movie? Like what the <laughs> heck? that is a boring title. Oh, I can barely man. remember it. Well, I gave this film a five. Devin gave this film a six. Surprisingly, one uh, notch above me. But yeah. uh, we both agree <laughs> on, on on this film, so don't really worry about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but hey, if you want to, it, it it's up to you if you want to do it. But we don't recommend it. Sure. It's your time. It's your time. (laughs) But that is our (laughs) review for The Adam Project. You were the best part all along. Oh, we'd like to thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you very much, man. Been having a ball doing this. You've been having a ball doing this. Hell no, I fucking hate them. Yes, of course, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> exactly, man. And uh, our viewership has been going up. Our subscri- subscribe count has been going up. And you know how you can help that, right? It's right there. Oh. It's right there. It says Wait, subscribe. That thing right there? Yeah, it's red. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you do that cool graphic I just put up? Wow, it's amazing. It's so awesome, dude. <laughs> Go ahead and hit that button. And also, while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with everything we do right here on Mostly Wrong Opinions, all right? And, uh, you know, you can give us a thumbs up with this review if you like it, you know? Or you can give us a thumbs down. You can be like, everything that Ryan Reynolds touches turns into gold, even though <laughs> it's all Ryan Reynolds being Ryan Reynolds. Even when Ryan Reynolds is serious, it's Ryan Reynolds. So you guys are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels like everybody in this movie is doing like a Ryan Reynolds impersonation. So, yeah, if you like Ryan Reynolds, this is your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it is your opinion. But just remember one thing. It's mostly wrong. See you guys in another video.